it is I, Leanne Schuller, and today I'm here to talk about my Techo Kaiji for 2023. What is that? Well, it is a Japanese term for a planner meeting, where you plan what planners you're going to be using. So I wanted to go all the way back to the beginning of 2022 to show what I was using then, and then how that changed, and the plans for next year. What I had been using for my daily journaling was this Studio Yearbook by Jamie Riddler. You can still get the PDFs if you're interested in this. And it had a space for journaling, inspiration, gratitude, etc. I don't know if you can see, but it's quite thick, even though I didn't finish using the end of the, the whole thing. The covers you can design yourself. It's one of the joys. It's, but I was moving to Australia from the United States. You might hear a weird accent thing happening. And so... I needed to downsize because this was going to be too big to carry while living several places and traveling and all that good stuff. I downsized this. The other journal I was using was this Midori book for my soul deep planning and dreaming, mostly dreaming, a little planning. And soul deep is my online exhibition uh, of paintings that you can like meditate to. So it's a way of meditating without meditating, if that makes any sense. It distracts your brain long enough just to be calmed by all the beauty. In any case, that's what I was planning and dreaming in this book. But also, it was another thing to carry and I was trying to pare things down. As you can see, they did travel to Australia, but they both took the slow boat. <laughs> So instead, I downsized to a traveler's notebook. This is not in the configuration it was when I changed over in March. But it has a few inserts. I'll just give you a little sneak peek. This is Camel, if you're interested. Um, these are my words of the year, which I have to review for 2023. Um, and this is like a, something that we do in Studio Yearbook, and I wanted to carry that with me. My Midori got shrunk down to a basic insert, plain insert for Traveler's Notebook. Here's more of the words of the year. I ended up using one of these B-sides, initially for collages, because in the Studio Yearbook there's a space for collages. Let me see if I can find one. Hang on. So for example, there's a collage. I did. You can see I was already thinking about traveling. So the nomadic artist. Um, and so I was using one of these to do small collages, but it really didn't satisfy. And I may have to do collages monthly in a different way. We'll see. I haven't haven't really decided that yet. And I have a fold insert, and then this was where I would do my day-to-day -day journaling, which I'll just keep covered up. And then in the back, I would have, I have an art journal to journal in, which is now somewhere else. I'll show you. So that was oh, for traveling, the travels notebook. And then we traveled for real for six weeks in the United States and the Pacific. And so I got this blue traveler's notebook you can only tell it's blue through the scratches, I think. It's quite dark for me. Especially when you have the royal blue on top, which is more the color I was expecting. Never mind. So I got that on the cruise, and then this is a vintage seashell that I picked up somewhere. And this became my travel journal. So I had a slap spot for things to put in for, for collaging. So I want to collage the front of the travel journal and haven't done that yet. And I wanted to keep musing on Soul Deep because there's nothing like confined spaces to help you do that. Some more collagey stuff. And then this is the travel journal. I'm going to do a full flip of this. Maybe once I've done the cover. <laughs> so that's coming up in the YouTube schedule. And then in the back, I had some things that I would need a lot without having to dip into my bow bag from Absent Studio, which I used to carry the rest of the supplies. And then this is my art journal. 
I did one entire page in. So proud of that. <laughs> Over six weeks. And then some washi cards in the back. But I'm going to do a big flip through of at least the travel journal and what I did and didn't use in my supplies coming up. It might be the same video, it might be two different videos. We'll see how that goes. So that was the rest of 2022. I'll be moving back into this now that I'm home. So for 2023, I'm going to stick with the Camel Traveler's Notebook. It's probably just going to have one insert in it, probably, which would be the journaling insert, probably. And my words of the year, whatever they may be for 2023. The Soul Deep is going to go back into its Midori book. So A, I love the paper and B, it just gives me a smidge more room to write in. And I found I needed more space to write when I was doing more of the dreaming stuff. So we have this guy, this guy. This will be revamped to use for the next trip. And then to add to that, we have a Hobonichi Techo five year diary because I thought, wouldn't it be a good idea to journal about my first five years in Australia, just using a few lines. Um, it's been 26 plus years since I've been there, hence the American accent. Um, unlike some people, I didn't manage to keep all of my Australian accent, hoping it'll come back. So I thought a year, I, mean, I thought five years, we could um, just you know, write a few sentences, particularly about what it's like being back in Australia. So when I can look back in five years, this is what my first five years in Australia was like. And you can't just get a diary from Obanishi. I got this cute little pouch guy that I will put perhaps some pens, maybe a washi card, maybe um, watercolours. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, and then this little guy. Oh, I bent the paper, Leanne. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We'll just go live in here like that and that might sit by my bed that may, might be my bedtime writing so we have that so I'm just going to move these kids out of the way and then because 2023 is going to be a year of exploring soul deep in more detail um, I'm hoping to do quite a few social media things including being here on this channel can't say too much more because I have to talk to my email subscribers first and I promise them that I get the scoop that you're getting a hint something's coming but I want to do more and I want to do a whole lot more and I want to leave time so it's just not all social media and filming but for creation and for living because it is from living that I get the inspiration to do the paintings so I reach back into the archives I have been hoarding this forever. It's the Jane Davenport planner, the color wheel one. So I got this and I've had this for five years, six years, longer. You see hoarding does work out people. So it's you know it's, it's artistic, it's got the color wheel. Um, it's got a place in the front for doing project stuff, making notes. I'll be adding tabs to these. I've planned that much out. Um, and then there's a monthly. Oh, you can see all that. And there's a weekly. And I like the vertical weekly. Now, I'm not going to do hour by hour planning on this. It's going to be like block planning. Like on this day, I want to kind of thing. And because I was trying to figure out how people planned vertically without planning hour by hour, we kind of fell down the happy planner rabbit hole. So there might be a video or two where I do a plan with me. And you will get to see um, how I set up for a month. I have bought a few <laughs> happy planner stickers. Um, and of course there's washi and watercolor 
um, and highlighters, I think, to do like blocks and shapes. So yeah, I fell down a major rabbit hole <laughs> while, I, while I had Wi-Fi access on my vacation. So um, that's the plan. So I will like block out what day do I film, what day do I paint, what day, times of the day life is going to have to happen, and then put in some fun time as well. So that is the plan, and I'm going to probably in the next month, um, sit down and just have a good look at what a week looks like, what a month looks like, and see how this is all going to work. But that's the goal. I don't know if you'd be interested in that, and I think kind of that'll be like personal, private stuff I'll be figuring out, but we will see what that is. So that is the big expansion, really, is to do actual for goodness real planning. So I can still call this a techo kaiji because it's it involves a planner so we have the planner we have the hobonichi techo uh thingy <laughs> hobonichi techo five year oh my losing my english um which also i've displayed already oh what did i do with it I got a pencil board from Oblation Press and oh my gosh, Oblation Papers and Press in Portland is the most gorgeous place. Oh, here it is. Sorry, here it is. This is what I got. I haven't even, I haven't even opened it yet. We should open it, shouldn't we? We should definitely open it. I mean, it's only eight bucks. So pencil boards are good if you didn't know. Um, when you're using very fine paper like the Hobonichi um, five year and Midori and Traveler's Notebook and that you can write on it and it will prevent the uh, oh isn't this pretty the uh, paper deeply indenting so that's the colorful side that's the less colorful side that might be easier to write on and so you can write and so the pen indentation doesn't travel through all the that's what makes journals bulky aside from you know washi tape stickers the rest of it. So I'm just going to tuck her in there and go in there. So that's my one or two sentences a day for five years, about my first five years back in Australia. We're returning to the Midori notebook, plain, beautiful Midori paper for soul deep dreaming, planning, dreaming. We will have this little kid for travel in the next year uh, we have at least one trip planned already and then this will be daily journaling and I might add maybe a commonplace book sort of like a spot for notes that don't really fit into daily journaling I don't know that's TBD, but it'll all be in this cover. So it counts as one thing, right? <laughs> right, it counts as one thing. Um, and I'll probably retire the art journal. So yes, that is all the good stuff. Right here. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, stay tuned, I will be doing um, my bow bag setup. And I have one from before, from when I moved out to Australia, but this one will be specifically for traveling for six weeks. And what I brought with me, what I used, what I didn't use. <laughs> and so I'll do a flip through of the insert of this. I have to decorate the cover first. And that's coming up in um, maybe the next month, maybe sooner, depending on how organized I am and get. Because I will be doing some planning dreaming and I will be doing some house cleaning after being gone forever and you know life stuff so that is my Kaiji for 2023 shall I lay them all out why not Ta -da! thank you for watching please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this and if you're interested in learning more about soul deep I have a few already in my stash, but I'm hoping to do some more um, in the coming new year. That's why I need this guy. I'm gonna figure out how to plan things. 
hit that bell for notifications so you can um, know when a new video of mine has gone up. It's going to be pretty erratic for the rest of this year, and then I'm hoping to start a regular posting schedule. Shh, you heard it here first. All right, everybody, take good care. Be well, be safe wherever you are, and have a great rest of your day or evening. Bye.